Well, one good thing has resulted from all the bitching about oh, F1's so boring, blah blah blah. And that's that the GPDA have taken the uh, initiative to ask fans about their opinion on the sport. And that's good. If I was to have my say on the fan vote, then I would reiterate what I've said previously about what I would, I believe would work in improving the spectacle of the sport. Admittedly, flipping the prize fund the distribution on its head would have limited impact in the immediate run, but in the long run, when those teams spend money that have finished lower down, would lead to the, the opposite that would happen now. In other words, it would avoid having teams uh, dominate year after year after year after year. That would avoid the so-called boring formula. But that's enough of my complaining about people complaining about the boring nature of F1. Far more interesting news. At the time of filming, there's only, what, 13th today, so 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, eight days, in other words, just over a week till I go up to Santapod for the first drag racing event I will have ever been to. Talk about first time for everything, eh? Anyway, the 13th of May, in other words today, also is a uh, special occasion for Formula One. It may be in turmoil about it being a boring sport, to some people anyway, um, but also 13th of May marks the inaugural Formula One Grand Prix. As many will know, the 13th of May 1950 the British Grand Prix held at Silverstone, won by Giuseppe Farina, Nino Farina as some people called him, um, was the beginning of an era that still stands to this day. Some people have expressed concern about uh, previous fans of F1 uh, supporting other motorsports like the WEC uh, in protest at the way F1 is going. To me, that's wrong. I'll tell you why. It's because it's not supporting that particular motorsport for its merits, but because of F1's faults. If you want to watch sports like the WEC or Formula E or whatever, then watch it for its benefits. It doesn't matter your opinion on F1. It matters for you liking the sport for what it is. As for me, I mentioned Formula E. That sport has a lot of potential. You know, it doesn't... People complain about F1 being quiet. <laughs> when you hear... more well, barely hear those Formula E cars going... <coughs> with the whine of the electric motor. It doesn't, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what noise they produce. As long as the racing is close and the overtaking moves clean and the drivers behaving themselves, that's surely all that matters. And if the driver is able to get the most out of their car, so much the better. That's what I believe anyway. Two weeks' time will mark the Monaco Grand Prix. And having been there myself, not the Grand Prix, but to Monaco itself, um, I hope people will be tuning in, because while it may be seen to some as a procession, and in many ways it is, because it's a narrow street circuit, what do you expect? Um, it does have tendencies to produce shocks. Look at 1996. The uh, first and only victory for a certain Olivier Panis. So, what I recommend is you is you think carefully about if you want to support motorsport.
Formula One or otherwise through thick and thin. I want to see more of you doing this.